Hello and welcome, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create snow in Houdini using Redshift. As a starting point I need something to scatter snow onto. In this case I have some Megascans rocks. Let's start at the object level, I'm gonna add the geometry node and call it snow. Inside this I'm gonna bring in the Megascans rocks, for that I need an object merge. And let's search for the rocks. Right now as it is the mesh is too heavy for creating the snow, so I'm adding in a poly reduce node and reducing the amount of polygons to 50%. Next we'll have the actual node that will give us the snow, it's called Labs Snow Buildup. And by default I get snow everywhere, so I'm reducing the point size and the number of snow points. Then I don't need the rock mesh anymore because I have it at the object level. So I'm unticking keep original. And if I take a closer look, the node creates a boolean operation against the rocks, which I don't need either, so I'm unticking this as well. Next I'll have a subdivide node to increase the resolution of the mesh. I'll increase the depth to something like 4. And right now the surface of the snow is too smooth. So I'm gonna deform this with a couple of mountain nodes. Each having different amplitudes and different element sizes. And these will also help the subsurface scatter to scatter light and give us the overall snow look. The last thing I need here is a material node and a material network. Inside this I'm gonna create a redshift material builder and pressing Ctrl C I'm assigning it at the material. Let's give it a test render to see how it looks. And this is what we get without any subsurface scattering. I think I'm gonna reduce the light intensity a bit. And then let's dive in into the material network to work on the snow material. Here the first thing that I do is to increase the subsurface weight. So we have some subsurface scattering. Right now the scale is too high, so I'm reducing it to 0.1. This gives me a reflective material. I'm gonna reduce the shininess of this by increasing the roughness. Next let's add a blue tint at both of the subsurface color and the radius. And I think I'm also reducing the scale a bit more. And this is the final look of the snow, I think it looks pretty convincing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some more upcoming videos in the following weeks, so make sure to subscribe. Thanks.